morning, good afternoon, and good evening, Matibay students. Welcome to Matibay class. Ayan, mga sintin. We're celebrating bakit? Ang tataas naman ng yes. ating nakumpute so, na grades yeah. ng ating mga 400 city students. Yes, and nakakatawa dahil nagbunga lahat ng kanilang effort. Oo naman. Sabi lahat naman. ng paninood ng video discussions, kasusog, kapupuyat, ganyan. Lahat ng pagbabasa ng kanilang mga PPTs and everything, it's all worth it. Yes. Diba sabi naman natin ng Tintin, okay? Lahat ng inyong pinaghihirapan ay magiging worth, worth it. it. Yes. Uh, Siyempre, comfort natin, ma'am. Baka may mga oh, oh. medyo mababa dyan. Wala pa yan. It's not the end of semester. Tama mong titin? Yes. And sabi nga, gaya ng lagi nating sinasabi, Sir Jason, ang importante ay meron silang magandang natutunan. Yes. Yun na ang... mababaon ninyo hanggang pagdating ng college. Oo. Oh, tsaka sinabi ko rin sa aming, ano ma'am, group chat, na pagdating na araw, hindi yung grades, kung gaano kataas ko baba, kung ano ang natutunan mo sa loob ng klase. Yeah. Tawang tintin. Kasi yes, diba at kung paano ka humarap sa totoong buhay. Yes, di ba yung trabaho na yung napasukan namin, hindi naman tinanong kung anong grades mo sa ganyan. But of course, <laughs> hindi natin dinidiscourage na mag-aral silang mabuti. Yes. Kasi babaunin nila ito pagdating ng araw. Yes. Hindi yung grades ang babaunin nila. Yung, yung natutunan nila na... Aral. And because of that, module we are now 17. down to module 17 and 18. 18. Oh, ba? 17 and 18. And for 17 and 18, we will be talking about determining the sample size that estimate the population mean and population proportion. But parang nagmamadali ka. Hindi naman. <laughs> Hindi pa naman alas 11, alas 10 pa lang mag-18. <laughs> okay? 10-7. 10-7. Okay? So, meron tayong pagalaw ng module 17 and 18. Yeah. And for that particular topic, Ma'am Tintin, we have our objectives. Of course, the first is to compute the sample size that estimate the population mean. <laughs> Next, calculate the sample size that estimate the population proportion. Oh, di ba? At meron pa yata. Last yes. is to solve problems that involve sample size. <laughs> Determination. Ayaw, magpatalo ay. Ayan, so mga anak, for today's topic, ito po ang ating mga pag-aaralan. Oo, oh, diba ma'am? Ah, huwag tayo masyadong seryoso. Sabi nga natin, matututunan natin ang mathematics. Habang nag-enjoy. Yes. Ayan. Patak matibay yan. Okay, so nahin natin ang formulas. Of Basta. course, hindi tayo makakapag-solve without our formulas. Oo, oh, may paikot. Oh, <laughs> Nahihilo ang formula. Sample size for estimating mean. mean. If, okay, x with a bar is used as an estimate of mean, we can be 1 minus a times 100% that the error will not exceed. Oh, tatandaan mo yan. <laughs> Mag-hindi ko masyadong naintindihan. I specify the amount e or the margin of error when the sample size is equal to n is equal to j sub a all over 2 times standard deviation all over e squared. Sorry, Etong bar dapat niya. Nandito, hindi ko alam yes. kung ano na isang. Nasakit na dapat yung, ano, ha, uh, yung bar. Yung bar. Pasensya na mga anak, live ang ating show. Kaya may mga ganyang pangyayari. Uh, uh, di ba, Le, susulat natin yan dun sa ating. Definitely, ano. yes. Okay, Z sub A all over 2. Yan yung tinatawag nating um, confidence interval. Yun, confidence interval. So, yan ang ating gagamitin formula later on. Ah, may pagrampol tayo ngayon. And, ito. of course, another Paulette, formula. Oh, diba? na, mahihilo na sila sa formula pati yung formula. At dahil akong nagbasa nung una, basahin mo yung pangalawa. <laughs> when solving for the sample size or n of fractional values are rounded up to the next whole number. By adhering at the principle, we can be sure that our degree of confidence never falls below 1 minus a times 100%. Strictly speaking, wow. the above formula is applicable only if we know the variance of the population from which we are to select select our sample. It's very clear on our PPT. <laughs> yes. Strictly is speaking. What's <laughs> <laughs> oh, the meaning of that? Wala akong pukulang dyan. <laughs> Ayan. Okay. Meron pa ba? Meron pa. Meron pang isa. Dahil ikaw yung Ay, pangalawa. Ay, meron Ako naman. Oh, meron pa yung isa Ay, pa. Pangatlo. Okay. And our third formula uh -huh. is for sample size for estimating population. Kanina mga anak, yung nauna, estimating mean. 
for this particular formula, estimating population yes. tayo, if p hat is used as an estimate of p, we can be at least 1 minus, one, minus a times 100% that the error will not exceed a specified <laughs> amount e or the margin of error. When the sample size is n is equal to degrees of freedom squared all over 4 margin of error is squared. squared. Ayan. So, habang pinapakinggan ninyo, parang ang complicated naman yan, ma'am, sir. Pero may magic kami dyan ni sir na matutunghayan ninyo. Diyos ko naman. Ayan. Diyos ko naman. Okay. Wala tayong hindi ibibigay sa kanila well. na hindi nila madaling maintindihan. <laughs> oh, mas nakakakilig pa yun kaysa sa marireceive mo ng 14. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ayan. And because Next of slide. that, ma'am Tintin, let's proceed on our examples. Example. Formulas. Formulas. Ayan. Okay. Siyempre, kakailanganin natin na may huwagang scientific calculator. This is the formula in finding the sample size for estimating population proportion. N is equal to critical value squared divided by 4 E raised to the power of 2. Wherein, Z sub A all over 2 is our critical value and E is our margin of error. How about the next formula, Ma'am Tintin? Okay, we also have the formula for sample size for estimating population mean. We have N is equal to critical value times standard deviation all over E. Take note, lahat po sila ay dapat naka-squared. Where yung Z sub A all over 2 ay ang tinatawag natin critical value. Yung O na may guhit sa taas is our standard deviation. And letter E is our margin of error. With that note, ladies and gentlemen, students, let's now proceed on our <laughs> problem number 1. Go. Okay, let's have this problem. How large a sample should be taken to be 90% sure that the error of estimation does not exceed 0 0.5 unit when standard deviation is 2. Take note mga anak na meron tayong dalawang formula na binigay. Now, the problem is, Sir Jason, Ma'am Tintin, ano po ang formula ang aming gagamitin? Okay, when you read the problem, if you read the problem very carefully, it is clearly stated that we have value of standard deviation. And because of that, nakikita natin dito mga anak na meron tayong standard deviation dito, pero sa isa, ay wala tayong standard deviation dito. Isn't it, Ma'am Tintin? Yes. Therefore, we're going to use our sample size for population mean. Okay? So, let's first have our what we call important values. Uunahin po natin ang ating critical value. Next is our standard deviation and our margin of error. Okay? Sabi niya dito, 90% sure that the error of estimation is does not exceed 0 0.5. In our table, sorry, <laughs> nasa yung table natin? <laughs> In our commonly used confidence level, if we have 90%, our critical value is 1.645. For okay, sure, memorize na memorize, memorize na natin yan. Diba, sabi ko, lagi natin yung um, gagamitin. At gagamitin pa nila yan during their college. At pag nagre-research na sila kung gagamit sila na ganito. Okay. Our standard deviation is, of course, we have 2. And the margin of error is, of course, yung mayroong unit, which is 0 0.5. 0 .5. With that, we're now ready to use our formula. Okay, our formula is N... Is equal, equal to, to Z, sub a, Z sub a all over 2 times standard deviation divided by E raised to the power of 2. Okay, let's substitute. N is equal to, we have critical value 1.645, okay, times our standard deviation which is 2 all over 0 0.5 Five. raised to the power of 2. two. Kung anong pagkakapindot, ma'am, ay kung anong pagkakasulat, yun ang pagkakapindot sa ating calculator. scientific calculator. Okay? So, close parenthesis or open parenthesis. May fraction tayo. We have 1.645. Nag-close ako doon. Ganyan ulit. 2. Yan. Nakakasunod, ma'am, Tin? Yes. We have 0 0.5. I-close natin. Then, raise to the power of 2. Right? Equals. Our correct answer is 43 0.2964 Sir Jason, ilan pong digits right after the decimal point ang ating i-consider ay, Ma'am Tintin, for this topic? 
Ma'am din din, since tao ang ating pinag-uusapan, ang ating sagot dito ay whole, whole number. number. So, our final answer is 43. Kasi wala namang point. Wala namang pong putol-putol na tao. <laughs> Kaya 43 po ang ating sample. Okay, Kung un, clear, kahit unano yan, counted as counted one pa rin. Counted as one pa rin yan, ma'am. Grabe naman. And let's now proceed to problem number two. Okay, for example, number two, how wow, long... Ano, <laughs> sorry, sorry, how long. Energia. Malito na basa ko. <laughs> how, large? how large a sample should be taken to be 99% confident that our estimate for population is within 0.02. Ayan. Ma'am, it's population proportion. Yes, population proportion is within 0.02. As you are go as you read as you read the given problem wala kang nabasa or walang nabanggit na standard deviation therefore we will be using the formula for population proportion ayan but bago tayo mag-solve kunin muna natin yung mga importanteng data such as ilan yung ating confident level we have z sub a all over 2 critical value ng 99% is 2. 575. And we have 0.02 ang tawag natin dyan ay ang ating E or margin of error which is 0.02. Next, since meron na tayo ng data, pwede na natin siyang isubstitute. So, kopyahin ang formula. N is equal to Z sub A all over 2. Squared. Ayan. Kailangan natin siyang squared all over. 4... Ma'am, 4 is constant, right? Yeah, times E is squared. Ayan. So, we have N now is equal to ang critical value natin ay... 2.575. Do not forget, kailangan natin siyang square. All over, 4 times E, 0.02, squared. Ma'am, bakit yung E lang yung in-squared? Oh, wala ka pakialam. Yun yung nasa formula. <laughs> kasi, yung, yung E lang po ang may squared. Pero kapag meron dyang parenthesis, ibig sabihin dalawa, dalawa sila. sila. But since walang parenthesis, si E lamang po. At bahala na si calculator dyan. <laughs> Next, input-input sa calculator. Again, mga Be anak, careful. kung ano ang pagkakasulat, yun ang pagkakasundot. Oh, oh. Okay. So, we have fraction. Okay. We have 2.575 squared all over 4 times 0.02. Again, si E lang po ang merong squared is equal to... Ayan, we have 4,144.14. Again, wala pong decimal na tao kahit... Unano. <laughs> Kahit putol yung isa niyang pa-account, that's one pa rin uh -oh. siya. So, sa final answer will be 4144. Final Ayan, yun, yun answer. Nagrigat. Nagrigat. Ang hirap ng mga... Ano naman, ma'am, tintin yung table? Ang dami, ang hirap. Ang dami, ang hirap nito. Complete the table below. Give the required sample size that estimates population mean given the following conditions. O, so, so, instruction parang, ma'am, mas hindi mo na ito titignan muna because of the word population mean. Alam, alam na, na natin, ang kukunin natin is the population mean. So, we have now the confidence level, 90% and 95%. We have the margin of error, 0.5 unit and 0.09%. We have the standard deviation, 12 and 1.4. Ang kukunin na natin is the required sample size. Okay? Napakaswerte ng ating mga estudyante, ma'am, because during face-to-face, -face, hindi natin binibigay talaga ang ating formula. So, yes. ang talagang challenge sa ating mga estudyante during face-to-face -face is to memorize the formula. The formula. Pero, syempre, nasa bahay tayo, kaya... Um, open lahat. Open lahat. Pati internet. <laughs> Pati internet. So, dahil dyan, mga anak, wala sigurong problema. All we have to do is to substitute it. And our formula is again, N is equal to critical value times standard deviation divided by E raised to the power of 2. Okay? Doon tayo sa 90%, ma'am. Ang critical value ng 90% is again 1.645. Okay? We have now N is equal to 1.645 times standard deviation which is 12. 12 all over E, which is 0.5. 0.5, ma'am. Ay, sorry, sorry. Raise to? 2. 2. Okay, kung anong pagkakapindot. Ayun ang pagkakapindot. Kung anong pagkakasulat, pagkakapindot. Ano daw? Ano daw? 1.645. Iko-close natin. Imo-multiply natin si 12. 
all over 0.5. Ay nga pala, Ma'am Tintin, merong estudyanteng paano sir kung pangit ang calculator. Sa mga hindi po ganito ang calculator, mano-mano, uh, um, i-chat lang kami ni Ma'am Tintin at i-tutor namin kayo kung paano gawin. Yes. Ganun namin kayo kamahal ni Ma'am Tintin. Okay, kahit na, yon basta. Okay, <laughs> squared. Okay, our N is equal to 1... 1,558.67 Take note, lumagpas kay 5 Kaya ang ating N ay magiging 1,559 This is 1,559 Diretso tayo We have 95% And now is equal to Ano pong critical value ng 95% ma'am Tintin? 1.96 95% is 1.96 Times our standard deviation which is 1.4 All over E, which is 0.09 E squared. Ulitin natin. Using your calculator, open muna, then fraction, then open ulit, 1.96 times 1.4 all over 0.09. Iko-close natin, tapos is squared. Equals. We have... 929.57 Again, lumagpas siya kay 5 Magdalagdag tayo ng 1 Our N is 930 930 Okay, ang hirap ma'am So ituloy na lang nila yung nandun sa kanilang module Ituloy sa module Pero mayroon pa yata ang another table ma'am Go ma'am Tintin Let's proceed with our last example Feeling ko hindi narinig yung let's Ulit Let's proceed with last example, completing the table din. But this time, yung isang formula naman ang gagamitin, yung walang standard deviation or we are going to solve for population proportion. So, kunin muna natin yung formula natin. We have N is equal to Z sub A all over 2 is squared all over 4 E squared. Next, given na lahat dyan, eto ang ating confidence level, eto ang ating margin of error, hahanapin natin si sample size. Pero para dire-diretso tayo, kunin natin yung equivalent ni 90%, which is 1.645. At ang equivalent ni 95, which is 1.96. We are now ready to substitute. Unahin natin si 90%. So we have N is equal to 90% is 1.645. Take note, kailangan mo siyang squared all over. 4 is constant and our margin of error is 0.08. Kailangan mo ulit siyang squared. Next, n now is equal to calculator natin. Again, fraction ang nasa taas is 1.645 squared all over 4 times 0.08 squared. Ganun lang po kasimple. It is equal to 105.70. Again, lumagpas siya kay 5. So, mag-round up tayo. We have 106. Final answer. So, ang ating sample size is 106. Next, our N is equal to 95%. 1.96 is squared. All over. 4 again is constant. Kunin ang margin of error which is 0.09 is squared. And now is equal to, calculator ulit, fraction, 1.96 is squared all over 4 times 0.09 is squared. Is equal to 118.56. Lumagpas kay 5, round up, and is equal to 119. Our required sample size is 119. And that's all for today, mga Core 006 students. Again, mga anak, mag-aral ng mabuti. Always remember, kakayanin natin ng lahat. Dahil nga, tayo ay hashtag matibay. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye. Good day, everyone. Goodbye, mga anak. And enjoy answering your module.